Hi, my name's Nancy Shies Benson. I had I was born on August 13, 1938, in the J.C. Blair Hospital. And when I was released, Mum and I was released. We came to Mapleton, and I've been here ever since, except for uh, a few years when I got married. My husband is a Marine, and so I went with him for about three or four years, and, but we came back to Mapleton. Well, when I was a child, we had a, a playground director at our playground, and uh, he would have games, we would play games and all, and he would be there from like noon to around eight o'clock or better, and we just had a good time, but uh, we always, I always had to be home at 4 o'clock when the sand company whistle blew because that was dinner time and we, we ate as a family. But then we'd go back to the playground to play and everything and it was a rule in our house that we had to be home before dark. And if we weren't, my mother was after us with a lilac branch. And we always prayed that she didn't talk too long because every word she did, we got a swat. I know today you wouldn't probably be allowed to do it, but hey, it never hurt me and I don't think it would hurt anyone else, so I don't. And what I really liked about Mapleton, and I was so proud to bring my family up in Mapleton, because when I was a child, if we got in trouble, we didn't always get uh, get corrected by our parents first. Our neighbors would correct us. But Mom and Daddy always found out about it, and then we'd get corrected at home, too. So we would. And, and then we in the 40s, the swimming pool came, and we'd go swimming. And uh, the same would happen there, though, too, at 4 o'clock. And we'd have to be home for our dinner. And uh, we had a lot of fun when growing up. Uh, as a teenager, a Curly Baker had a uh, service station, and he had a jukebox in there, and we'd go play the jukebox and, and play ping pong, and we'd do a lot of dancing and just have a good time. Also, New Parker had a place that we would uh, congregate to because he had good... Uh, chocolate cokes and, and cherry cokes and good uh, milkshakes and when we'd get a milkshake we'd get we'd always get two straws because we couldn't afford one by ourselves so we we would have two of us drinking the same milkshake but we had a lot of fun fun now when i was young uh we had a lot of stores in town too we had mrs snyder uh, right where we're at right now, she was here, and we had Gilbert's store, and we had uh, the Clover Farm store, with Mr. Trapp had it, and uh, we were uh, very friendly with the Trapps, and uh, uh, they took my sister and I places with them, you know, and uh, then we went to uh, Walt Hooper's mm -hmm. and Walter Weibel's store. So, Mapleton used to be a busy town, and of course, uh, I was living uh, right by where the honor roll was and the little house when they were putting the uh, subway in. And uh, I don't know if the workers liked me or not, but they would give us pennies and boy, we would run buckies to get our candy, because then you could get penny candy. You can't hardly get that anymore. But uh, things that we did at uh, night was uh, we would, uh, there was a gang of us, we'd either uh, play kick the stone or we'd play uh, uh, paper dolls. If it was my girlfriend's, we'd play paper dolls and we'd play hidey go. And we just, I guess we just had a friendly time. I always said that maple. We had a big family garden. It was out where uh, uh, the sewage plant is now. Daddy always had a big garden there, and Mother always, she canned everything and made her jolly and also, and because Daddy worked at the Harvest and Walker Brickyard, and uh, in the wintertime, he worked on top of the mountain. He drove the dinghy 
to bring the stone back down to the Harvest and Walker. So in the winter time, they he didn't work, and so but with Mom canning and everything and baking the homemade bread and all, we we had a good time. We had a cook stove, so we did. That's how we. And in our house, we didn't have a bathroom. We had an outside, and we didn't have water in our house. We carried, we, there was a spring, and it was the best water that you'd have ever wanted to drink. But when they put the sewage in, they, they ruined the spring. There's no spring here anymore. Huh. Daddy was, always kept that. that. Yeah, Daddy always kept that spring nice and clean and everything. Wow. And that's the water that we used. And when we, need, we needed, uh, Mom needed hot water for doing laundry, she would uh, put it on the cook stove and, and then she would transplant it into the wash machine. And then we didn't have washers like we do today. She had a ringer washer. So she did. Oh, Daddy had a uh, Model T, you really? know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. One of those, uh, I guess you call them a rumble seat, because we always well, like to go in those rumble seats. And another thing that they don't do today that w w we always did as a, a, a family, on Sunday, Daddy would take us a, a Sunday drive, and we'd go visit, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, we'd go visit Mom's people or, or Daddy's people, and uh, they don't seem to do that anymore. No. And, it, and it's such a waste, though, because uh, then you knew who your cousins were mm -hmm. and everything. And today, you know, unless you meet them in the funeral home, you don't see them hardly. What? Well, we never got TV until 1954. Now, uh, my grandfather died in 52, so uh, the brothers got together and got Grandma TV. And... Uh, then we had to use the antennas, mm -hmm. and uh, when we wanted to see TV, we'd go to Grandma's. But then, as a young girl, I, we used to go to Peter Dana's house or uh, Clarence McMillan's house to see Disney World. So we would. So, so, but then Grandma died in '54, and we got TV, and but Daddy put uh, the antenna up. Mm -hmm. That's what. That's how we got to see, and I think we only ever had six and ten. Right. El Tuna and Johnstown. Remember? Well, we had telephones, but uh, we they we were on a party mm -hmm. line, and on our party line there was two young teenage girls, and uh, of course I was quite old though before I we had telephones. Uh, I was a teenager mm -hmm. myself. And but the uh, on the party line, the girls were always on it, and you'd get so mad you couldn't <laughs> see straight. And then finally, you'd get to go on. And today, I notice it's very different because the girls called the boys, and we were not allowed to call a boy, mm -hmm. so we weren't. Okay. There was a bus came to town, and one time, uh, I was a bad girl, and I hitchhiked to my <laughs> union. But I really got in trouble when I came <laughs> home, too. What happened if you went to Huntington and missed the bus to come home? Well, you prayed you never did. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but then we would go to the movies, you know, and then we always went to the palace. We had to go get a drink or, or something, and then uh, we'd get back on the bus and come home. But in the meantime, uh, the band hall here in town was very active because we saw movies at the band hall too. And then I remember when the war was over, uh, where the the road across the uh, railroad that we had before the subway, right. they had a big celebration that that night. So they did. Uh, they had a big bonfire and oh yeah, it was a big big time. Size because we had first and second, and uh, I had Mrs. Dale, that was my teacher there. And then we had in the front part was uh, third and fourth, and we had Martha Gibney then. And then when you went upstairs was fifth and sixth grade, and that was uh, Mrs. Eckley. 
And then, of course, we had 7th and 8th grade, and that was Mr. Corbin. Right. And then we had to leave and go to Mount Union for 9 through 12. Mm -hmm. Said that Mapleton was the garden spot of the world because we had such a good time living here and being raised here, and I've raised my family here too.